This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. One of the thoughts I had around the Boss IR2, and I think I might have had some questions in this context, be about using it as part of a live rig. Obviously, I think one of the things with these Boss Compact pedals is they do really kind of excel for, for live use. Um, I was really impressed with the tones, and I thought, well, let's go that one step further and think about how we would use it as part of a live rig. For me, live, generally, this would be the sort of setup that I'd go for. Uh, in this context, a drive pedal that can do multiple drive settings. It can also be switched with an external switch, so you can uh, switch the amp side. Uh, basically, the unobtainium is on the one side uh, a clon, and on the other side uh, an ODS type thing, Dumble, but think Zen Drive esque. Using the IR2 instead of, I, I actually tried a couple of different things and I've, I filmed those and I, I'll put them at the end of the video instead of what I actually settled on. But um, what I've settled on is the plexi for both. So a clean plexi and then a dirty plexi um, just because I think that had a bit more continuity to it and ended up sounding more consistent with the pedals and yeah, so I've got it with a clean and dirty, I'll show you that. And then I needed something for delays. This is doing the ambience, it's got the plate setting. And then I thought the HX1 can handle my delay sounds. Uh, so this all in all would come in around six to 700 pounds, uh, which is still, I think a little bit more expensive than the HX Stomp XL, which might be more versatile than this in a lot of ways, but you would have to then start thinking about menus. Let me know if you've got any thoughts on how you might gig the Boss IR2 if you were thinking of it. 
one of the other benefits of the HX1, it's got an effects loop. I think these all have effects loops. So there could be some more complex routing, but for me, just drive pedal into the IR2, which I'm using both channels of, and then into the HX1 for the stereo delays. I think that could do the job. And I, yeah, was enjoying certainly the drive tones a lot. Uh, I think the challenge with it would be balancing the cleans and the drives to get that to work. You might need to try that at volume to see if that works. Let me know what you think you might use it for. If you would, uh, I think they're out of stock. I did buy this one with my own money. This was sent to me and this was sent to me. So yeah, cheers. Okay, I've just spent a bit more time with this just to, to make sure that I'm balancing things out nicely. So uh, essentially I've got my delay thing here. If I hit flux, We have my two delay settings, right? And then I've actually gone here now for the plexi on both sides so that there's a bit more continuity between sounds. Okay, and then I can click on my Unobtainium, so on one side. Or the ODS side. And then, on either side. I can have my lead tone, basically. So that gives me a bunch of flavours. So I might have my ODS side for the more heavy. Then my clean with none. Clon side for a little bit of a push. And then. Stack into the drive side for my solo. Nice, so plexi for both.